Welcome to George on Cars. Today, I've got an amazing video. I'm going to show you how to clean your car's interior after a cold and harsh winter. But before we get to the video, let me tell you a little bit about this month's Charity of the Month. And if you're enjoying the content on the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel get some visibility and it only takes a second. And by the way, if there's any content you want to see on the channel, send me an email at georgeoncars at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe if you can. This month's Charity of the Month is the Huntington's Society of Canada. Now the Huntington's Society's vision is to create a world free from Huntington's disease and improve the quality of life for those people affected by the disease. They work to accomplish this mission by providing excellent support services and access to the best and most up-to-date educational resources. They're a great organization, so check out their website which has some amazing information. You can even volunteer your time or make a small donation if you like. Thanks a lot for supporting this great charity, and I hope you enjoy the video. So it's been a cold, rough winter, and the interior of your car has taken a beating. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick five-step process to clean the interior of your car and get it ready for summer cruising. Now, I haven't cleaned the interior of this car in almost a year, and not only has the car gathered a fair amount of dirt and debris from winter, but it's been on a few road trips and suffered its fair share of spilled drinks and food. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us today. Before we start the video though, here are some of the items that I'll be using to clean the interior of the car. I'll be using this power washer to clean the floor mats, this vacuum, microfiber towels, a steam cleaner, carpet shampoo, Meguiar's interior detailer, Meguiar's glass cleaner, a ton of assorted brushes, including these cool ones that fit on the end of the vacuum, and this drill and drill brush attachments for cleaning the carpets. All right, let's get started. Step one, remove the floor mats and any debris from the car's interior. The first thing you need to do is go around the inside of the car and pick up any food wrappers, coffee cups, or any large debris that you can't suck up with your vacuum. Make sure you clean under the seats and even remove items from the glove boxes and seat back pockets if you have them. You might be surprised what you find. Before I get started on the interior though, I like to power wash the floor mats and scrub them down with a brush and soapy water or a degreaser instead of the soapy water. I like to do this first as it gives the mats time to dry while I wash the rest of the vehicle's interior. I did a separate video on cleaning the mats, which I'll link in the show notes below if you want to check that out. Next, I like to wipe down the dash, the console, door sills, door panels, and the leather seats with a damp microfiber towel. This helps get any loose dust and dirt off the interior before you start your deep cleaning. Also at this point, I like to clean the air vents with these detailing brushes, which are great for getting into the tight spots. Step two, vacuum the seats and the carpets. The next step is vacuum the interior of the car to get all of the loose dirt out of the vehicle and get it ready for the deeper cleaning that's coming up. At this point, it helps to raise your power seats as high as they'll go so you can get under the seats with the vacuum. If your seats are leather like they are in this car, I just wipe them down like you did earlier. But if you insist on vacuuming them, make sure that you use a soft attachment on the vacuum nozzle so that you don't mar the leather. Now, a tip that I use to try to get the real ground in dirt out of the carpet is to agitate the carpet with a firm brush to get the loose particles to the surface. Once the debris is worked free, go over the carpet thoroughly with the vacuum to suck up those tough and hard to reach particles. Step number three, deep clean the dashboard, the consoles, the door panels, and all other interior plastics. The first thing I like to do is, I like to use a steamer to clean some of the really dirty areas of the vehicle, like the center console, the coffee cup holders, and the door sills. I also like to steam clean the brake pedal and gas pedal. I like using a steamer as a first pass because it lifts all the ground in coffee and ground in dirt stains off of the dirtiest parts of the interior. I like to hit those areas with the steamer and then wipe the residual water down with a microfiber towel. Using a steamer is great because you know that the steam is safe and that the area you just cleaned is now sanitized. To be clear though, I don't use the steamer on the dash, the door panels, or the leather seats. And if you do, you want to be very careful. After I've steamed the interior, I go over all of those panels and plastics with an interior detailer like the Meguiar's Interior Cleaner or Mother's Vinyl, Leather and Rubber Cleaner. I use the interior cleaner products to clean all of the interior surfaces of the car that I just went over. 
I make sure that I get the dashboard, door panels, center console, and door sills, and anything that is plastic or leather. Now, you need to be careful with what products you use to clean the navigation screens, and especially the steering wheel, as you don't want to leave an oily or greasy residue on those areas. But the Meguiar's interior detailer is safe on both of those parts of the car. When applying the product to the interior, I just spray it onto the dash, leather seats, or console area that I want to clean, and then I work it in with a microfiber towel. And for most interiors, that's going to work fine. If you have a heavily soiled area or a spot where you don't want to get excess product onto the vehicle, I always apply the cleaner directly to the microfiber towel or a brush, and then I work it in that way. I usually do that when I'm cleaning the steering wheel or other tight spots in the vehicle. Now, you might find that the cleaners I used here don't do a great job on getting scuff marks off of your door sills, and I've found that a magic eraser dampened with a little bit of water works great for that. Step number four is shampoo the carpets. The next step in the interior cleaning is shampooing the carpets. Before I apply any shampoo though, I spot clean the carpets using a steamer to work loose any spilled foods or hardened stains that won't come out with normal vacuuming. I like using a steamer for this as it loosens any hardened food stains and makes them easier to remove. I also use a 50-50 mix of white vinegar and water to remove any salt stains that accumulated over the winter. Once that's done, I apply the carpet shampoo generously to the floor of the car and I work it in with a brush. You can work it in with a hand brush, but I like to use the brush that attaches to your cordless drill. The drill brush is easier to use and it does a better job than you can do by hand. I also like to make sure that I reverse the drill while cleaning the carpets as that helps move the fibers in the opposite direction and agitates and loosens ground in dirt better. Once you've worked in the carpet shampoo, use a wet dry vacuum to vacuum up the dirt that was just worked loose. You want to make sure that you work the vacuum into the carpet and get all the dirt out. Some people like to use carpet shampooers, but I don't like to add too much water to the carpet as it soaks into the insulation under the carpet and can sit there for a while. That's why I like using a steamer so much. It just hits the surface of the carpet where your stains are and it doesn't introduce a lot of water to the interior of your car. Step five is cleaning the windows. This is the final step in detailing your car's interior. It's important when cleaning glass to use an automobile glass cleaner without ammonia. The main reason for this is you don't want to ruin or damage any window tinting that you might have. I'm using Meguiar's glass cleaner and I simply spray it on the glass and then wipe it off. I like to wipe it off with a microfiber towel as opposed to paper towels and I rotate the microfiber towel as needed. Also, when doing the glass in your car, don't forget to clean the rear view mirror. And if you're cleaning your instrument cluster, don't use paper towels, just wipe it with a microfiber towel or it will scratch your gauge cluster. Finally, if you have an LCD instrument cluster or nav screen, don't use this glass cleaner on it. Just stick with the Meguiar's interior detailer that I used on the other surfaces in the interior. Well, that's it. That's a simple five-step process to super clean your vehicle's interior. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe, as it really helps the channel get some visibility. But more importantly, support the charity of the month if you can. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.